Hey guys, Buff Game Bet today, bringing our video, and today we are covering in our weapon conversion series the Mark 16 CQC or the SCAR Light CQC. CQC is standing for Close Quarters Combat, SCAR standing for Special Operation Forces Combat Assault Rifle. So let's go ahead, we'll jump into the build, I'll show you guys how to build this, look at the firing range, check out the recoil patterns, and then see how it handles in game against bots. So let's go ahead and back out, look at our final version of the scar light cqc close quarters combat for the mark 16 go ahead and back out here and we'll look at the weapon build itself so first off what i'll do is we'll start with the base scar and we'll go ahead and jump into the gunsmith here and for whatever reason i, I keep getting this glitch where some of my weapon shows backwards so i think it should be an easy fix here there we go so first thing here for the mark 16 cqc or the scar light cqc is the barrel length so the barrel length on this thing in real life is going to be 10 inches now in game here we only have a 12 inch barrel as the shortest so this is going to be a nice medium length barrel between the close quarters combat version and the standard barrel length for the scar light at 14 inches so this will be a 12 inch ideally we want 10 but 12 is the shortest we can get the pros here are going to be the aim down sight speed and the hip recoil control cons are the damage at range hip fire accuracy and bullet velocity so we'll go ahead and select that Next up for the laser option, this is really personal preference. You can use always use another attachment, but uh, you have the aim and stability here for the CZ 1 milliwatt pack, or you can go with the FSS uh, Oli V laser. This is basically the TAC laser from Modern Warfare 2019. So the pros here are the ADS speed, aim and stability, sprint to fire speed, with the con being the laser is visible to the enemy when you are ADSing. So just be careful about when you're ADSing. We'll go ahead and select that. Optic, again, this is going to be personal preference. I'm going to go with um, this Vortex here. This is going to be just a precision red dot sight. So the pros are that it is a red dot precision sight pitcher. Cons are the aim down sight speed and the aim walking movement speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the stock option, we could use this base stock here. And you could use this attachment elsewhere. But I am going to go with a nice medium between the Scarlight CQC and the Scarlight PDW, which was a... Uh, variation of the scar which uh, was a prototype and never came to fruition so um, we're gonna go with the TV Cardinal stock the pros here are the aim walking speed and the sprint speed the cons are the aiming stability so this is gonna be that telescopic butt stock we'll go ahead and select that final attachment here we're gonna go with the underbarrel attachment so again this is more so personal preference um, you can definitely run it with something like the Lockwood precision the hex 40 you could also use the Magpul Vertical Foregrip here or the OPX9. Um, and always, you can always go with the Bipod Foregrip for the scars. Always looks really nice. I'm going to go with the Operator Foregrip here. Same Operator Foregrip from Modern Warfare 2019. It's going to give us the hip fire accuracy, aim walking steadiness, and the hip recoil control. And for the cons, we're going to go with hip walking speed. So we'll go ahead and select that and then the final that's our final build but we do need one more attachment here mainly the camouflage because it is a scar so we're going to want to go over to customize take a look at the camos and we're going to go all the way over to the flat now the scar did come in you do see versions out there in the wild in black however the most common is this right here the clay color uh for the scars not quite the exact uh, color they come in, but this is as close as we're going to get, and it looks really nice on this weapon. So you unlock the clay camo by getting 50 kills with the bear MRAD or the MCPR 300. So we'll go ahead and select that camouflage here. And then for the charms, go ahead and just take a look at this. This is the final version of the weapon here, the Mark 16 CQC or the Scar Light Close Quarters Combat. You can see there just a really nice aesthetically pleasing weapon. With that short barrel we have the rail cover here on the left hand side you see the reciprocating uh charging handle right there above the handguard and then we obviously have full length picatinny rail on top and then we have picatinnies at three six and nine on the handguard as well where we have uh, allowing for modularity for lights grips optics things like that we have completely ambidextrous uh fire controls there right above the pistol grip and then we have the magazine release and the bolt release there as well so and then you see the ejection port here on the right hand side and the pec mount on the right hand picatinny rail as well and with this optic we retain the flip up iron sights which is cool to see here again it just looks gorgeous with this camouflage on there as well so we'll go ahead now back out take this thing into the firing range really quick just to take a look at how it performs we'll take a look at the recoil control and then jump in game 
against bots and see how it handles there. So we'll go ahead, jump into the firing range here really quickly. You can see weapon inspect just looking really nice. The attention to detail here is great to see for the Mark 16. So we'll go ahead and let this thing rip a little bit here. Going to be very accurate at these 10 to 20. Longer range with this build. Even though it we're able to hit those pretty easily, you can obviously build way better builds for the longer range engagements with this. This one here, CQC, is built exactly for what the name uh, says. It's going to be a little rocky out to these longer ranges just with the, the recoil and the auto sway. Things like that. So it does work pretty well at these medium, close to medium ranges is ideal for this, but you can definitely stretch it out there a little further if you want. So let's go ahead now. We'll jump in game and take a look at the recoil pattern for this weapon. All right, now that we're in game with our Scarlight CQC or the Mark 16 CQC, let's go ahead now and check out the recoil pattern. So what I'm going to do is just let this thing rip full auto and we'll see how the recoil looks without controlling it. Okay, and now we're going to control it. So you can see the recoil here is going to go a little bit of a zigzag. It's going to go up to the right, deviate to the left, and then pull to the right the rest of the way, rest of the way up. So we're able to control it pretty well there. Again, this build not, not meant for anything beyond medium range, as I would say, like 30, 40 meters max is stretching it here in game. So let's go ahead and try and control it once more. So you see, it is going to bounce around a little bit. You can just play around with it, but the recoil really isn't bad. It's easy to control and keep it in tight groups at those medium ranges. Those are all kill shots as well. So this is the Mark 16 CQC or the Scar Light Close Quarters Combat version. Go ahead now and jump in game here. We're going to be playing on the same map here, Embassy, just because it is it does have some really nice close quarters engagement areas here, especially on the indoors. Um... So we'll take advantage of what the build is really supposed to be used for is engagements within within 30 meters, I would say, is really where this thing thrives. And the Scar Light, first off, I just it's very good to see the Scar Light here in the game. This is a conversion I think we all wanted from Modern Warfare 2019. And th some of us thought was going to happen because they did add conversion kits with different ammos for the Uzi and some other weapons. However, uh, we never did see the uh, 556 version of the Scar or the Scar Light come to fruition so it is really good to see it here in the game and it, it does handle really really well i would say it is actually probably one of the better uh assault rifles in the game uh easily especially with with better attachments than you're going to be using for this particular conversion so for the scar obviously uh developed by fn herstel out of belgium now scar standing for special operations forces combat assault rifle um this is a gas operated short stroke gas piston automatic rifle and this was really developed in 2004 as part of the SOCOM's SCAR program. They had a competition to replace the M4, M16 family of weapons. And uh, this version, or the the Mark 16, 17, was entered. I believe it was the SCAR Light, actually, that was entered primarily into the uh, competition chamber at 5.56. And then you obviously had the SCAR competition itself called for... Um, a light and a heavy version so the he battle rifle version of the scar heavy or the 762 by 51 millimeter version was also put in both are available in uh close quarters versions long barrel and standard so developed in 2004 was put into service in 2009 through present and it was developed in, or excuse me is adopted by over 30 countries at this point and it, with a lot of different variations which we'll get into um it did see service originally uh, when it was deployed in 2009 for the war in Afghanistan and Iraq, oh, and it's been line. utilized in lots of places since as well. Um, design period was 2004 when it was developed and put into the SCAR program, SCAR Trials, and then it was adopted in, I believe it was 2008, um, and then put into uh, small groups of special forces, things like that, to field in 2009. It was, I believe it was when it was tested. Um, 2009 or 2007 there. Now, the specifications for this weapon, the Scarlight CQC, is going to come in at 6.7 pounds or 3.04 kilograms. The length of the weapon here is going to be, with the stock extended, 31 inches or 787 millimeters. And with the stock folded, it's going to be 
533 millimeters or 21 inches. Now, in this case here, we're using the telescopic buttstock from the SCAR PDW or the Personal Defense Weapon Prototype. So that would vary with length overall. Now, the barrel length on this version in real life, like I said, for the Scarlight CQC is going to be 10 inches. Here in game, the shortest barrel length we have is 12 inches. Now, the cartridge, 556 by 45 millimeter NATO here for the Scarlight and the PDW CQCs and the hammer, the SCAR Heavy and the Mark 20 SSR both fired the 7.62x51 millimeter battle rifle cartridge and the Mark 20 is also compatible with 6.5 Creedmoor, which we do also see in this game here, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now the rate of fire is going to be 550 to 650 rounds per minute. Now that was done on purpose. Um, the SCAR Heavy is going to come in at 600 rounds per minute. Both of these have a slower rate of fire, especially compared to the M4. Um, mainly due to the reason they wanted more more controllable uh, and accurate fire during sustained automatic fire. So that's the reason. Uh, lower rate of fire, obviously easier to control, get shots on target, and in better engagements. The muzzle velocity for the SCAR light is going to come in at 280, or excuse me, 2,870 feet per second or 870 meters per second. And um, that's going to be with MA55 ammunition. Now, the effective firing range is going to be for the CQC version 300 meters or 330 yards. And the feed system for the Scarlight is the standard Stenag Box Mag, as well as P Mag Gen 1, 2, 3s, things like that. Anything compatible. FN also offers their own, um, their own magazines as well. And this is also compatible with drums also as well. However, uh, typical quad stack 60 rounds Stenags are also compatible and preferred over drums. So the sights on this, because we do have full-length Picatinny rails, you can mount. Any sort of optics there on that top Picatinny rail. We also have, uh, it is a fully modular assault rifle and does have AMI controls, AMI actress controls, that is. So you can mount weapon lights, um, like we said, grips, lasers, things like that on your barrel of your weapon because we do have the full length Picatinny rail on the top as well as uh, handguard does have six, three, and nine o'clock Pic Picatinny rails also. So that is the. Scarlight or the Mark 16 CQC build. Now, a little history of this weapon. Like I said, the SCAR was picked. They're this version. These versions of these weapons were selected from the SCAR program. So we had the Mark 16, the Mark 17 being the SCAR light and heavy, and then eventually the Mark 20 um, SSR was also selected as well. And they were adopted. However, I believe it was in 2011 is when the SCAR light... Um, or two that yeah, I believe it's 2011 or 2013. The Scarlet was planned to be removed from inventory just basically because it was determined that the Scarlet didn't really do anything over or better than the M4 platform did. And at the time when the Scar program was derived, there was the need to replace that FN or the, excuse me, the AR-15 platform weapons, the M4 and the M16. However, there was different things going on at the time that kind of developed and took that M4 further forward. That being the SOP mod. Block 1, 2s, you had the uh, CQBR, Mod mod 0, Mod 1s, um, really kind of changed the way that rifle performed and added modularity to it. So at that point, the SCAR Light really didn't do anything better than the M4 that was substantial enough to to warrant fully replacing them instead of just upgrading with salt mod kits, CQBRs, things like that. So that's the reason the SCAR Light was not... Uh, not formally adopted after that and put not put into service. However, it was still utilized by US SOCOM. There are conversion kits that are still bought for the SCAR Heavy to convert it to the SCAR Light version. But the SCAR Heavy and the Mark 20 SSR are adopted or were, were still adopted um, from the SCAR program and are also still in active military service today with Special Operations Forces and things like that. However, like I said, US SOCOM, um, they do still purchase... They were the largest user of the Scarlight and do still purchase conversion kits for it for the Scar Heavy to convert it to 5.56 by 45 millimeter NATO. So that is the Scarlight CQC. There's a lot of different conversions here. Let me know what you guys think for the Scar platform itself. I'm looking forward to covering all of these. And again, it looks so nice with that clay color pattern here in game. Let me know your thoughts down below. Social media links are in the description below. We have Discord, Twitter instagram as well as uh twitch where i'll be doing some live streams as well here on youtube 
And I'll leave a link down below to the Scopes podcast channel where Crash, Crash Games and I go ahead and host co-host a podcast there weekly. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know any conversions that you guys would like to see moving forward here. Till next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the Mark 16 CQC. Till next time, Buffner Gaming. Out.